What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks, where we unbox and review cool stuff almost every single day. And ladies and gentlemen, today we have come together to kill the fucking game. Now, in the grand scheme of things, I'm actually pretty late to the party with this piece. Other people that ordered it seem to have gotten theirs two or three weeks ago. Mine just got here today, but that's honestly not too bad because I was expecting it to come tomorrow. But I went to the post office earlier. Lo and behold, I had the package to end all packages in my P.O. box. So let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and get on into this. I am super, super excited. And the fact that I got to see so many other people getting theirs first actually raised my excitement. Took my anxiety to the fucking max. Now I have seen one of these in person already. My buddies Mike and Bishop over at Paleface & Co. brought one down the last time that they visited. But again, I can't wait. This one's mine. Doesn't have to leave whenever they leave. I just get to see this and own it and hold it. And to say that this is going to be a grail score is definitely an understatement. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got. Oh man, it looks like there's some extra stuff in here. I think we gotta look at that first, right? Here's the mask. We'll set it to the side for the time being and we will take a look at what we've got in this baggie. It's looking like there's a shirt, a couple stickers and business cards, and maybe a note here. Not sure, it's a little separate envelope, so. This is, oh, it's the pass. Well, surprise, surprise, here we have it. The Paul Knott Authentic PK Tattoo the Earth Clown number 25. This is the pass that comes with it. A super cool little addition to the mask itself. And now you guys know exactly what we're about to take a look at, but I'll go ahead and show you guys these stickers first. I think that is an X-Files sticker, although I don't know much about X-Files. And then we've got some Josh Ludeman business cards here. I'm guessing he is who is responsible for the entire recast of the Tattoo of the Earth Clown and whatnot. And it looks like we've got a t-shirt here as well. And it's a medium. I don't know how they knew what size shirt I wore, but hell yeah, I don't know what that is, but it definitely has his logo on the sleeve there, so uh, Beyond Disgusting Studios t-shirt. Hell yeah, super sweet. Alright, well, now that that's out of the way, let's get into the real deal. Oh my god. I can't wait. Man, this has been such a long time in the making that I truly never thought that the day would come, much like your mom never thought that I would, but it's happening. And here we go. The unveiling of my Paul Knott Tattoo the Earth, Clown Mask, Recast, and wow, I'm staring in the face of the closest to the real deal that we're ever going to get. And this is a big deal for me. Give me a second, I want to glance this thing over and just kind of take it all in. That's what she said. And I will get back with you in just a second. All right, so now that I've taken a second to kind of look everything over, just really realize what's happening here, let it all soak in, wow, I finally have the closest thing that I'm ever going to get to my dream mask. Longtime viewers will know that the Tattoo the Earth Clown mask is my all-time favorite mask. Easily my favorite Slipknot mask, and absolutely one of my all-time favorite masks in general. This thing is just perfect. Ever since I saw that sculpt as a child, I just thought, wow, that is the perfect moment of madness captured through a sculpt. Absolutely absolutely fantastic. It was the first mask that was ever sculpted for Slipknot, and I still think that it's the best mask that was ever sculpted for Slipknot. Everything about the look of the mask right down to when it was worn is absolutely perfect for me. That transition period between self-titled and Iowa is the angriest, the hungriest, the most aggressive Slipknot that we ever got, and it was followed up by some of the coolest Slipknot shit that we will ever, ever have. Tattoo the Earth tour, people equal shit, Kerrang awards, everybody looked fucking sick, Sid had a C3, he had started experimenting with face paints. The list goes on and on and on, but mostly what I think about when I think of the Tattoo the Earth era is what everyone else probably thinks about, and that is the Tattoo the Earth clown. And what I'm holding right now is a recast directly off of the real Tattoo the Earth clown. You guys are probably wondering how. Well, Paul Knott actually owns one real copy. It wasn't a stage used copy, but it was an extra copy that was painted by a separate artist that wasn't SMG that managed to make its way onto eBay years and years and years ago, and Paul was lucky enough to grab that mask from eBay. It was super fucking cheap, too, from what I remember. I think it was like 
like 400 something dollars. God, if I had known that it was going to be that cheap, I would have gone into any amount of debt to get that thing. Well, over the years, Paul has talked about having it recasted and selling copies, and that finally happened, and we have them here now. So this is my first copy. Hopefully, I'm able to score at least one more because I do plan to keep this thing blank. For the sake of what it is, I did not have any interest in getting it painted. I just wanted it to be on the shelf as a blank up with some of my other real mold or real deal masks, and that is still the plan with this thing. I have absolutely no desire to get it painted, but with that being said, I would absolutely love to grab a second copy to have painted up by Josh Jansen as the bald version, and that is because the bald version is my all-time favorite Tattoo the Earth Clown variant. Now, there were quite Quite a few between the one that Paul owns, all the ones that Clown wore, the SMG copy, and the brain foam filled copy that Clown used for a photo shoot. But the bald version is my all time favorite, specifically this shot from the Kerrang Awards. I just love everything about that. So if I'm able to grab a second copy, I would absolutely love to have that painted into a bald version for my collection. But as I mentioned a couple times earlier, this thing is staying blank and I'm just super, super happy to have it. I'm going to leave it uncut, just going to leave it exactly how it is, as original as possible and uh, I will most certainly cherish it. This is my all-time favorite mask. I didn't even know if I was going to be able to grab one of these, but I talked to Paul and he was like, dude, I set one aside for you. You've been asking about this thing for 10 plus years. You're definitely getting a copy. So thank you very, very much to Paul. I hope that he is realizing just how much this means to so many people across the board. There for a while, I thought that I was the only one that had these like emotional attachments, very sentimental feelings towards this mask. But as I saw people getting their copies, I could definitely tell that they were feeling exactly what I'm feeling right now when they unbox theirs and they made those posts with those words. So it's a beautiful thing, a very, very cool thing for the hobby. And I definitely think that we owe Paul not a massive, massive thank you. So from the bottom of my heart, Paul, thank you so, so much. I am absolutely in love. Definitely over the moon with this piece. And with that being said, I'd like to tell you guys to go check out Paul's collection. He has just an insane Slipknot collection. I think if I could trade places with anybody in the hobby, it would be Paul. He's got a real tattoo of the earth. He's got the real stage used weight and bleed Joey. He's got just an insane amount of stage used suits, mostly from the self-titled era, stage used instruments. The dude even has a real screen used Halloween four mask. Like what the fuck? So I'm going to be dropping his information down below. Make sure to go check him out. He is a super nice guy. I've always really, really looked up to Paul and this just took it to the next level. So thank you again, Paul. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go ahead and end this video and just let this cast speak for itself. I will leave you guys with some nice close up shots of this mask and then we'll throw it in the collection and show it off there as well and that will be that so thank you again for watching until next time this has been aj good at the house of masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol and yes to your dream mask and we'll see you guys later